One of the things we wanted to do at Wowza is make it easier for our customers to integrate their encoders into our system. So we created the Works with Wowza program to help partner vendors certify their encoders, make it easy to config them and stream them to our service. So you see we have many partners here available. Today I'm going to show you the Teradek Cube integration with Wowza Streaming Engine. This is the Teradek Cube we're, we're encoding from today. This happens to be a 250. This model actually comes in HDMI or SDI versions. It includes cellular, Wi-Fi, and wired Ethernet support. So you strap this onto your analog camera, fix your input, good to go. So we're in the Wowza Manager, and I'm going to go to the live application we've previously set up. Now on this application, we can go to our incoming publishers page. And you notice now we have some buttons for the Works with Wowza partners. This not only gives them visibility in our product, but it helps our customers easily recognize their encoder and configure it and hook it up to our system. So you see on our encoders page, we have a Teradek button here. Since we're configuring our Teradek cube, we're going to click on that button. So here we have the characteristics of our stream here and a button to generate a unique URL relative to the stream. We're going to change our stream name here to Teradek, and I'm going to click Generate. What this does is generates a unique URL that I can copy into the Teradek interface, which it will decode, and then be able to stream directly to our server. So I'm going to go here. Now I'm over in the Teradek interface, and I'm going to go to the streaming setup. On the streaming setup page in the Teradek Cube, you'll notice there are several options. So you see here, we're going to pick the Wowza streaming option from our Teradek Cube, and we're going to enter a configuration URL. So the URL I just created, I'm going to paste. I'm going to load that configuration. And you'll see here that now we have the server IP address, the port, the application, the stream name, and even the publishing password and username that we need to send data from our cube back to Wowza. I'm going to apply the configuration. So now we've configured our cube and I'm going to start broadcasting to Wowza. We'll go back over to our Wowza streaming engine and we'll click on incoming streams. On the incoming streams page, you'll notice now we have Teradek listed as the source feed coming into our encoder. So now you see we've gone from our incoming streams page to this Teradek specific stream we set up to stream from the cube. We can load our test player. And you can see we have various formats here we can display. This happens to be MPEG Dash. You see the feed from there. You can of course see RTMP, HDS, Smooth, and even get a list of URLs for your mobile playback. You notice we have some nice statistics here. It gives you the bits in and the bits out. So you really notice what, what bit rate your, camera, your encoder is giving us feed. And also, very easy to just record the stream from one button. You can also go back to the incoming streams page, of course. You can record it from there as well.